Hi, this is Watson Technical. Belts are important everywhere, in the car, plane, or of course, in the laser machine. Today we'll talk about their straining. There are three belts we should keep an eye on. On the X and Y axis and the lifting tables one. All of them should not sag, but at the same time, they should not be over tightened. Watson machines have a rigid frame construction with 3M belts and belt reducers, which allows for perfect results without the slightest distortion. But how do you strain them? On the Y axis, straining is provided through the facing side by using two straining screws. These screws rest against the profile wall. You need to slowly tighten them. Now, check the belt strain. Do this step one more time if you're not satisfied with the result. If you are, then you need to fixate the screws with the adjuster bolts. Tighten them hard. On the X axis, the process is quite the same. The difference consists of the placement of the straining screws. You can find them in the special fabrication hole on the side. And again, when you are satisfied with the result, fixate the screws with the adjuster bolts. The lifting table's belt is strained by the movement of the pulleys and sheaves. You need to loosen the screw holding the screw nut from the downside. Then move the pulley until you get the required result and tighten the screw again. Again, all of the belts should not sag, but at the same time, they should not be over tightened. It might result in increased wear, trembling on turns, creaking or even skipping steps. Give us a thumbs up if you manage to strain the belts properly. If you have any more questions, then write them in the comment section below. This is Watson Technical, and we'll see you in the next video.